Chris Roth from Action 2 Sports. Sponsored by the Orthopedic and Sports Institute of the Fox Valley. Home for robotic surgery for hips and knees. How you doing, everybody? The Green Bay women finally breaking through following up three runner-up finishes in the Horizon League tournament in five years. Now on to the big dance to face one of the game's most iconic programs. Eric Boynton has more. You could check one goal off the list, make the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2018, but now it's about winning a game there and doing it against a program that has been there every year. Tennessee has never missed the NCAA tournament and has plenty of experience across the board. The Phoenix are experienced in different ways. The experience is, is helpful. I mean, it kind of proved in the Horizon League tournament for us, but I also think that we're a very experienced team just overall. So we um, are really close as a team and we're just going to go out there and like I said, we have nothing to lose. We're just going to have to feed off our experience as a team in doing the things that we do of understanding how to play because if you don't understand how to play, it's really difficult to compete at any level. But I think our kids understand how to play. There are not many things you can throw at them that they haven't seen before. And this group has certainly seen a lot together with the same starting five for all but one game this season. I think we've done a good job of just the five on the court, play together, play smart, um, and just focus on you five and Really, there's nothing outside of the court that can really mess with that at that moment. Just us having the mindset that whoever's on the floor get the job done, however it comes to you. One of the keys for the Phoenix on Saturday will be slowing down Rakia Jackson, one of the best players in the country, averaging just under 20 points a game and likely a top five pick in this year's WNBA draft. Reporting at Green Bay, Eric Poynton, Action 2 Sports.